Hello there and welcome to another MCI Studios tutorial with me, Pippin Henderson. Uh, I'm sorry that we haven't done one for a while, been really busy working on the new site that we're developing at the moment, um, due to come online very soon. Um, but for now we're going to come and um, do another tutorial for you guys. It's uh, concentrating on the matrix view today. Uh, and we're going to start seeing about how the matrix view can be incorporated into many different scenarios and you'll understand more what I mean when we get into it. But the matrix view is perfect for those DJs doing live sets. Who need to set? Who need to change sounds uh, quickly, and who can build up a song um, incredibly fast and effectively? So, we're going to go straight in and um, and just cover a few highlights. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do is actually we're going to want to um, come in here to the synth uh, the synth rack and insert a synth. So we're going to click this plus button here, insert synths, and straight down here to the Z3TA plus. Uh, okay with the in simple instrument track. And the sound that we're looking for is actually the first one uh, on here. It's the eight bar first contact. Um, so what we're going to do is going to um, quickly create a uh, an eight bar uh, recording of this very quickly. So uh, I'm going to click arm on there and click record. <laughs> Okay, we went a little bit over there, so what we're going to do is we're going to groove clip loop this to make sure that it continues on. And what's happened there is overlapping slightly to the ninth bar, and we don't want this. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this to the ninth, to the eighth, then the eighth, click groove clip again, drag it back again, and then click groove clip. It's going to say that it's going to discard some hidden data, that's okay. So that's cool. So we're going to double click on it now and make sure that it actually finishes and begins. See, it's slightly, it's not joining up here at the uh, beginning of bar one. So we're going to drag this, and we're going to drag it along to the beginning of the bar. And we're going to come over here and select the end of the eighth bar and make sure that it's, it does, it makes sure that it's, uh, it ends where it's supposed to. And then what we're going to do, just to make sure that everything's nice and neat, is we're going to come up here to the process and the quantize. And we're just going to Select sixteenth there, and we're going to click OK just to make sure that it um, clicks to the um, to the beat that we're recording at, and we can sort of uh, show that by if we click this metronome during playback button here and just play and just see if it goes along with the clicks. <laughs> Which it does very nicely. So we're going to. Uh, it seems like it's ungroove clipped again. So we're going to click it and groove clip loop it. Make sure that that's done. Come out of this view here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is simply drag this um, track here straight into the matrix view and drop it in. And you'll notice that we have the. Um, it tells you that this is a, a MIDI track. This keyboard here uh, it even says MIDI here. And what we can do is we can sample this now by clicking on this big play button. And because we groove clip looped it, it actually repeats itself without any clipping whatsoever. You don't hear any transition between the phrases. So that's the main benefit from making sure that each tr each clip is groove clipped. Um, okay, so what we're going to do now is um, start building up this uh, matrix view a little bit, and we're going to add another Z3TA plus into our uh, synth rack here. Click OK. And the next sound that we're going to go for is... Pluck bells, and we're going to just add another eight bar here. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to click it, we're going to groove clip it. And then we're going to double click it and make sure that it begins and ends. Let's see, this one hasn't quite ended on the end of the eighth bar, which we want to. We can click it and just drag it and make sure that it ends the beginning of the ninth. 
which it does. And then we're going to come up here to the process, quantize, 16th, click OK. Just going to make sure that that's all nice and in sync. We're going to play both of these together now and see if they play nicely together. <laughs> they do very nicely. I'm going to come up here to the matrix view and we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to drag it but this time we're going to drag it into these column, this second column here and then we're going to control click and drag the first one over to uh, just above the uh, the one we've just recorded and what we're going to do now is just have a simple uh, listen at what we've just done here. So this is the first bar. <laughs> And what you can do is click on the second tab here, just as the first one's about to finish, and it will transition over to that very nicely. And what you can tell just already is how um, how quickly we're going to be able to build up a song like this. Um, so the first, the third thing we're going to um, add is another Z3TA. Click OK. And this one we're going to uh, do is we're going to come down here and we're going to kick um, sequence chord here. And we're going to record another just 8 bar quickly. So we're going to arm this, and arm that. Notice we have some uh, chord change issues there, but with that, those can be fixed. We're going to highlight it, we're going to click groove, clip looping again. We can come over here to the process, quantize, but this time we're going to click fourth there and click OK. And that's going to make sure that these transitions go in very nicely. These chord changes here that I did make sure they they fit well. Just going to just have a quick preview. <laughs> sounds good. So we're going to click and drag to this one and then control click and copy these two over there. And now let's have a listen. This is the second phrasing. We're going to go into the third phrasing just by clicking it as this one starts to end. You'll notice there was a pause there because I clicked it um, a little too soon. But you get the idea. And as these are playing, you can turn each one off and on. Indeed, you can select ones from other phrases. They don't have to be above each other. Okay, so you're starting to get the gist of what we can do here in the matrix view. The, uh, the next one we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of voice and what we're going to do here is come over here to the uh, the browser and we're going to select a uh, vocal that comes uh, with uh, sonar. We're going to click loops, loop master, house techno, we're going to click classic and the one we're looking for is this one. We're going to click and drag this one underneath here. It's going to convert it to the uh, the sample rate that we're using here. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing, click and drag. And then what we're going to do is...
selecting and clicking each one and they were turning off and on as I did um, they do wait for the uh, the bar to come round before they uh, before they do come in so keep that in mind uh, the next thing we're going to add is a just a very quick drum loop so we're going to come into this and we're going to go into breeze and styles and it's going to be this one I believe yep we're going to click and drag this one over here do exactly the same thing you keep it waiting for another time can't keep it down control click and just copy all them over you keep it waiting for another time can't keep it down Okay, I think you get the gist. And what basically what you can do there now is you can click this capture matrix performance and then come down here to where the matrix view, uh, matrix row for uh, track is on the track view here, arm it. And what that does is basically when you start clicking record, it'll record. And as you click these off and on, it'll record the performance that you do. Um, but obviously, you can see the, the benefits of the live performance here where you could have. Um, whole songs in these um, tabs here and go from one to the other um, so you know the, the possibilities are endless here the matrix view is uh, is an awesome tool um, not one, not something that I actually use very often um, it's it's very good for DJs and that kind of thing it's not something that I tend to work with very often but uh, you can see the potential and I've only just scraped what you can do here so uh, I hope you've enjoyed this it's been a very quick one I'm sorry for not doing one sooner um, but I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've um, um, seen what it can do. It's not so much as a tutorial, this one, more of a sort of um, a brief glimpse of what the matrix uh, matrix view is. I've had a, um, a question come through, come through asking to, to uh, do one on the matrix view, so here it is. If you have any questions, please don't hesi hesitate to, um, to ask. Uh, email me at mcistudio uh, at hotmail.co.uk or leave a comment. Uh, don't, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time for the next tutorial.